can't think of a better way to enrich our lives without adding music. And Irv, that is something that you do for so many families here in Cache Valley. And your life has been full of music yourself. Tell me about your program. And it's, it's just exciting, the, the methodology that you, that you have to teach piano lessons to kids. Well, it's important with kids to make sure that you don't turn them off quick. Uh, so many kids start, they play for a few months, the parent can't get them to practice, right. and, they, and then they quit. And there's a very, very high turnover. It's extremely sad. Because many of these kids could be good players. Well, what I find is so many adults say, oh, I wish I would not have quit piano. That's one of my biggest regrets. And so how, what do you do to make sure that a kid, when they start piano, they stick with it? How do you make them love it? Well, I use a program that has three elements to it. One is, of course, learning to read music and learning to play what is on the page. But number two is learning to improvise and learning chord theory and learning chord, to read chord charts and to make chord charts. And number three is learning to play by ear and learning to play by imitation, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is how we learn to speak. So why shouldn't we learn to play that way? You know, that's just such an exciting concept because um, most people think, oh, you can't teach somebody how to play by ear, but, but you know how to help somebody free up their mind and, and to get rid of those borders so that they, they can play. Tell me about this little lesson that's going on here. Well, this little girl has been playing for about three months. Um, I was teaching her siblings, and there she goes. She's, play <laughs> she's playing with one finger. Um, she's just having fun. And yeah, she's so funny. When she gets so excited, it's crazy. When she gets something right, she'll do a somersault off the back of the off the back of the piano bench. <laughs> See, what, what's so great about that is is she is, is having the liberty and the freedom to enjoy the experience. Well, yeah, and and look at this. She's playing a song now that you wouldn't expect kids to be able to play for a couple of years. She's been taking for three months uh, because she's learning to play by ear. We can always p play things more complicated quicker by imitation than we can by reading music. And this, is, this is her sister, is it not? Yeah, this is her sister and she's been taking before, she had a piano teacher before, but she hated the lessons and she quit. And uh, here she's playing a song that she's arranged herself. Uh, I gave her some pointers, gave her some idea, ta taught her the chord progression, taught her a few little lines, and then she just made it up. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Because, you know, even, even a purist would have to admit this is better than not playing, than giving up on piano lessons. I think so too, and if you're just stuck with you can't ever play anything unless you've got the music in front of you, you, you just feel limited when you sit down in front of the piano with no music. Well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's, she's just having fun. She's just having a lot of fun. So at this stage of her life, we're focusing mostly on playing by ear because she, she doesn't have the patience right now. Tell me about this little This little girl, she's, <laughs> she's, she's a lot of fun. She's a high energy girl. Uh, she is one who's into everything. And, uh, she also had piano lessons before and was very frustrated. She didn't give up, but she was not making progress because she didn't enjoy practicing. And uh, uh, she does read, and we're working on that, but she's also um, learning to play, <clears throat> play by ear. And she has many, many interests right now. She's decided just a couple of weeks ago she wanted to learn guitar, so I'm teaching her guitar instead of piano. And that's okay, that's whatever great. she's doing. Tell me about this little gal. This little girl is only five years old. She's my youngest student. I have students from five to 70. But uh, she is just learning. We're teaching her those three things, to read music, to learn chords, and to play by ear and imitation. And the songs that she's playing, she plays both. She's, she's reading in a very elementary level, but she can play songs that she's heard before. And uh, that's what's fun. What about parents that, that might be a little bit skeptical and say, well, she really does, she can't even read notes on a page. How can she learn to play this music that is so above where she is? What's your answer for that? Well, my answer is, do you, do you wait to teach your child to speak until they're old enough to read? No. 
anybody can learn. We, we learn naturally. We learn naturally at an early age to imitate. That's how we learn to speak, and that's how we can learn to, re to do music as well. We don't have to be old enough to read in order to speak. Well, we don't have, be, ha have to be old enough to read music in order to play piano. And that's the mistake that traditional lessons make, is that we try to teach them. We, we don't let them play anything until, they're, until they can read it. So. Can you imagine a parent slapping a child's hand and saying, no, don't speak yet, don't speak yet, wait until you can read that first. That's silly. I just, That's not how we learn. I just think it's exciting because I can see how you could, you could really enlighten um, a musician that has struggled with traditional lessons and be able to say, you know what, you can do whatever you want and I'm going to give you the skills and the tools to do that. Yeah, absolutely. That is fantastic. This is exciting. Irv, this is your program. It's successful. You've got testimonials of happy people, happy parents, happy adult students, but you also can take that small child and just help them blossom and become a great musician. It's wonderful. Absolutely. Thank you so much.